Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. And today we're talking about the impact of Shadow Play or NVIDIA Share when it comes to recording gameplay while you're gaming. See, there's a lot of people out there that do similar to what I do. Actually, a lot of the gameplay that you see on the channel here, unless it's explicitly stated that it was recorded using our Elgato HD60S, a lot of it is recorded using Shadow Play because the files are very easy to work with and it allows us to have some type of gameplay footage for a game with minimal performance impact, but there's still an impact. But the question here we're looking at today is, has that impact been reduced with the new Turing cards? So from Pascal to Turing, has things gotten better? So when it was first introduced till as time went on, it had gotten better with each iteration of GPUs. But what we wanted to look at today was, did it get better from Pascal to Turing? And is that benefit noticeable? So of course we tested this on our Z370 test bench with an 8600K at five gigahertz, yeah, five gigahertz, with 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 CL16. So we tested the GTX 1080 Founders Edition and the RTX 2070 Founders Edition as they perform very similarly in most tasks. So what we did was we took a couple of synthetics and a gaming performance benchmark. We did one run where nothing else was running in the background. And then we did a second run with GeForce Experience going and NVIDIA Share recording throughout the entire duration to see the impact that it had on the scores in Fire Strike and Superposition and the average frame rate in Shadow of the Tomb Raider using the built-in benchmark. We could have kept going and done even more, but I'm pretty sure we would have seen a fairly consistent repeat of what we saw here. So we took a couple synthetics and then a, well, a video game and saw kind of the performance impact variation. So what kind of results did we get? Well, let's kick things off with 3D Mark Firestrike. We saw the GTX 1080 Founders Edition have a negative 8.2% performance impact when NVIDIA Share was enabled and recording at the native resolution and 100 megabits per second quality. So we did adjust the quality from its native uh, 50 or 60 megabits per second up to 100 so that we have a much better image at the, in the output. So this is our setting. So if you want to use that and compare for yourself, then there you go. Whereas the RTX 2070 only saw a negative 6.8% performance impact. Now that's not a huge performance difference. That's really only, well, one and a half at best, 1.4% performance gain but it is a measurable difference. Uh, let's move over to superposition where we see the opposite, actually. We see the GTX 1080 only see a 4.7% performance decrease, while the 2070 saw a 6.2% performance decrease in that one. So you see kind of flip flopped on there, but what about an actual gaming load? Let's move over into Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now see, this is where things look actually a, a little bit better. You know, they're, they're a bit more favorable in both parties. So the GTX 1080 saw a reduction of 4.4% performance, while the 2070 only saw a 2.9% performance reduction. So at the end of the day, you're gonna get a performance hit, whether you like it or not. So there you have it. So if you're sitting there looking at one of the two cards, and I know there's a lot of people sitting there with that kind of thing, that may be something to take in consideration if recording gameplay with minimal impact is important to you. Now, if you're wondering about NVNC encoding for something like OBS, I've actually got the 2060 packed up. It's on its way out to a friend who does streaming, the Frugal Gamer, and we're gonna put, I'm gonna try and put a link to his channel down in the description below, so that if you wanna see what he does with the 2060 over the next couple of weeks, where he'll be testing the NVNC encoding with OBS and comparing it to his current setup and seeing if it really is worth it for somebody who's a streamer. So that'll be interesting to see how those results turn out. We'll probably share some of those over here. So go check him out and make sure you're subscribed here so that you don't miss that when it goes live. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.